The provincial government plans to implement changes to the labor laws. One of the controversial items include a hike in minimum wage to $15 by 2019. Perry Sound Muskoka MPP Norm Miller sent out a survey to businesses across the district in early summer to get an understanding on how local owners feel. Miller recently released those results and in a discussion over the phone, Miller says the numbers are staggering. Most businesses aren't opposed to $15 an hour, uh, but they are opposed to the speed at which uh, it's proposed to be moved. So it's uh, a 32% increase in two years, and that's really hard to adjust. So in responding to that, 60% said they would raise prices, 29% uh, said they'd lay off staff, uh, and 45% they cut said they'd cut back on employee hours. So it could actually be the unintended consequences could be, you know, fewer hours and fewer jobs and, and, and also more, more expensive goods and services for, for seniors and those on fixed income. So it could, you know, there could be more negative than positive that comes from this. David McLean is the owner of Soapstones. He says he doesn't like the idea of government imposing on business. I believe more in a partnership with government um, and this, I uh, have mixed emotions associated with it. Our organization philosophically is aligned with the belief that, that people should have a living wage. In our community, I believe 15 is probably the threshold of, of uh, a living wage, and therefore we were striving to, to take all of our employees to that or beyond already. Uh, to be mandated by government to do it within a certain time frame, uh, I'm less enthusiastic about and although Soapstones has adopted a living wage approach, McLean says they will still have to look at strategies that will enable them to stay profitable, stay in business and stay growing. We have to look at our cost of goods and obviously labor goes into cost of goods. We're a manufacturer, so, so our production salaries. Uh, we're also a retailer. We also do marketing, so we're a fully integrated operation at Soapstones and consequently uh, when we're mandated to increase the salaries, then salaries are a component of our cost of goods. And so we'll have to look at, at our pricing strategies. Uh, not to say that anything would, would necessarily increase, but certainly that's something we're going to have to have a keen eye towards. Um, and uh, th so that being one, uh, another could be ways of, of doing things more efficiently. So doing more with, with fewer people. I'd rather see government working with manufacturers and, and business, small business in general uh, to, to find other strategies where, where uh, people can get to that, that place. And I think if, if it's going to be mandated, then I think there's also a mandate on government to, to come to the table with, with some proposals that can kind of lessen the burden on small business. Whether or not local businesses will be able to cope with the wage hike isn't the only thing that worries our MPP. Miller says there was one key finding in the survey that was shocking. So one of the questions was uh, asked if they would choose to start a business in Ontario now with the way things are. 50 percent of the businesses said no, that, that it's too hard to, to run a business in the province of Ontario. And that's a pretty shocking statistic and it's one that needs to change because Small business are the job creators and wealth creators in the province. They're, the, they're what government, government lives off the taxes earned by those businesses. Miller says the bill hasn't been debated yet, but he has put in a request to speak to the labor law changes when the legislature resumes.